Hello, welcome to Not for Exam, and I am your host, Sujit, and we are going to discuss rotation of a rigid body due to forces involved in collision. Impulsive forces during collision produce linear impulse, and this may produce angular impulse and change the state of rotational motion or change the angular momentum. Also, forces in collision are internal forces for the system, and if external forces are comparatively very weak, then net force on the system is net internal force that will be zero. Also, net torque is equal to net internal torque, which is zero. So, linear momentum and angular momentum will be conserved. Let's see the following examples related with the above discussion. In this example, a uniform rod of mass m and length l rests on a horizontal frictionless surface. A particle of mass m moving with velocity v perpendicular to the length of rod collides with one end of the rod and comes to rest after the collision. We want to find out the angular velocity of the rod just after the collision. Initial linear momentum of the system Pi is m into v, and final linear momentum Pf will be m into vcm as shown. By linear momentum conservation, initial linear momentum Pi is equal to final linear momentum Pf, and therefore vcm is equal to mv upon m. And initial angular momentum of the rod about point O, that is the initial position of the center of mass of the rod, LiO is equal to mv into L by 2. That should be equal to final angular momentum LFO by angular momentum conservation principle, and that is equal to angular momentum about center of mass, that is ICM omega plus angular momentum of center of mass about point O, that is zero. Therefore, mv into L by 2 is equal to ICM into omega, or omega equal to 6 mv upon ml. Let's see another case of the above example. Let particle stick to the rod after the collision. So, what will be the angular velocity after the collision? Let velocity of center of mass of the combined system after the collision is v. Then mv equal to m plus m into v, or v equal to mv upon m plus m. Also, let center of mass of the system C dash is at a distance x from the center of the rod. Then x will be m l upon 2 m plus m. And initial angular momentum about point O, L O i, is equal to mv into l by 2. And final angular momentum about O is angular momentum about center of mass C dash of the system. That is IC dash omega plus angular momentum of the center of mass that is x into m plus m into v. And by using angular momentum conservation, we can easily find omega. Thanks for watching, not for exam, and we will see you next time.